This is gonna be some really weird editing going on here. I don't care. My stream is crashing. Do you understand how hard that is for me to deal with? Uh, okay, so we're going this way now. Loot, loot. I love that gay Wi-Fi. Like seriously, my I've been using the uh, Los Angeles server because it's the closest to where I am for a while. But apparently, I'm getting a much stronger uh, signal with the uh, San Francisco server. So I guess gay Wi-Fi really is overpowered. Damn it! A gay Wi-Fi has its shit together. Straight Wi-Fi is too busy looking at, like... I don't know. What, what, what do straight people do for fun? I mean, uh, they're, they're, they do, they're they too busy playing video games, because I, I know what straight people do. Yeah, but we're... Uh, fucking hell. Can I move faster if I push this thing? Whee! This is actually a strategy back in Dead Rising 1. You just grab a random cart and push it because you ran so much faster with it than you did otherwise. Not now, apparently. Okay, we're good. Yeah! <laughs> Straight Wi-Fi is too busy staring at lesbian Wi-Fi. Hey, that's totally what I would do. You know, if I was... Because I'm straight, you know? Shit! It's just... I, I am a miserable wretch at driving, I swear. I'm a miserable wretch in general, but especially in driving. It's not my... forte. I wonder if lesbian Wi-Fi would sell. Like if someone just, like, bundled... Like, like, if an ISP just basically said, now we're introducing our new lesbian Wi-Fi without explaining it at all. Like, just without explaining any any reason why it's lesbian Wi-Fi, I wonder if it would sell. Probably would. Damn, I have to go all the way around. I see what you did there, the John John. You're speaking from your own personal experience, aren't you? You would buy lesbian Wi-Fi, wouldn't you? Why are there so many of these mutant zombies around here? Like, they- This game- These, uh, these, uh... Side DLC things? Are kind of just really cookie-cutter. There's a lot of the same missions going on, and there's just tons of, basically, like, dropped-in stuff. This is very much filler material. It reminds me of, like, a Ubisoft, uh, a Ubisoft multi- uh, single-player open-world game. No shame, only gain.
It just reminded me a lot of like what uh, Assassin's Creed has become, where there's pretty much just like a couple of main missions, and in the meanwhile, there's like 78 meaningless side missions and activities to do, and you can't tell which one's which. And half the time, you have to do one to unlock the other. Wait, am I even going the right way? I have to be, right? Yeah, because this is super fucking roundabout. Wait, hold on, how? Wait, what? How am I supposed to? What the hell? Wait, no, there's an entrance on this side. Yeah, if I, go, if I keep going in that direction, I should be fine. Fuck Mila Kunis. I mean, it might be coming from... Me, like, I'm not sure... I, I feel like the best Assassin's Creed game was probably, like, if you ignore the fact that it was really kind of, um... What's it called? Uh... Redundant? Uh... I mean, I don't know if it was redundant. But, if, ignoring the fact that it just didn't really do much new, I'd say Brotherhood was probably the best one. Like, it was a lot like Assassin's Creed 2, but it really polished things a lot. The game ran a lot more, like, it was just more smooth combat, was more smooth and everything, more flowing. The environment wasn't that good. 2 had an amazing environment and everything. But after, like, Brotherhood, everything's just been complete toss. Like, I I think that Black Flag was probably the best one in rec recently, but at the same time, it was just full of so much random shit that you could do on the side. I really liked the series up to that point, too. Oh, fuck, no way am I helping someone named Vicky. Got a chance in hell. Just call me Snowball. Hey, do you mind trying to chocolate here? I'll take some vitamins. Ooh. Gah. Ooh. She's the only one that's too dumb to stay on top of the car. God damn it, Vicky, you suck. I have to help her. Rip, Vicky. Good riddance. Damn it! I wasn't even steering in that direction. This thing has a fucking tilt on it. The game is bad. The, the, I, I didn't do anything wrong. My God. DSP, DSP. Fuck. Muscle relaxer. That helped me shit better. Holy crap. Like, what? What? Welcome back. At long last. She has my tablet fully charged here. Gonna unplug it. Uh oh. That was that thing I saw falling over here. Steven! 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 That was Steven. You gotta help Steven. God bless Steven. Let's see if we can get some cab fares real quick. What the he- With this- With this stuff- What?! That's the military? They sound like rednecks to me. They're blowing shit up like rednecks at least. I guess I have to go into that cluster fuck. Now I'm gonna go around the back. Screw this. Jesus. 
Oh yeah, you can make something with this, can't you? Something really awesome. I remember you can make the princess dragon thing, I don't remember how. I can't just combine the vaguely Asian things. I'm pretty sure that the katana next to that dragon head is kind of a a mixed stereotype, because I'm pretty sure katanas are Japanese and the dragon head's supposed to be like Chinese. We just stop? Wow, that thing's really good. Well, wow, that's brutal. I'm an asshole. I am a right wally. This gun's kind of overpowered, holy crap. D I'm in the store with you! Don't shoot him with a fucking rocket launcher, you maniac! Are you serious? Jeez. That's the American military in a fucking nutshell right there. Oh my god, they're eating him! And then they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! Yeah, I can't commit to that. Holy shit! Pfft. I'm gonna be Princess Dragon again. I missed that. What was it even made out of? I can't remember. I keep the dragon head in case I do, like, just suddenly, like, it comes to me or something. Princess Dragon Maker return. Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. I have to admit, though, um, Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate looks somewhat interesting. Dragon Head and the Parasol. Let's find a Parasol. I want to find a Parasol. Legit. Kill the lit. Why is that just everywhere? The people really went native, didn't they? Horse head mask. That thing is totally like a meme. It's like memes incarnate. Oh, parasol. I don't care about co-op, like, at all, but I'd be interested in playing, like, just two different characters on, uh, solo. Princess Dragon has returned! Everyone raise your dongers! Princess Dragon! What was the other thing you could do? This, right? It, no, wait, it was like... Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I love this thing. It's just... It's just DRAGON! Like, I'm more interested in Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate because of the setting. Like, I, uh... The setting is a really big deal for me in games. It's so why I didn't like GTA 5 very much. I don't like I don't like the whole California area. Too much like Arizona. Yeah. I can just imagine how much of a pain in the ass it would be to play through that game with me. Like I bet that were Cameron and I, like, still doing shit, we probably would do Assassin's Creed Syndicate purely for that... that experience of fucking with each other hard. We might have done Unity, honestly. I think we would have done Unity, too. 
because it was an absolute mess of a game. That's like the most fun thing. Like I, I, I hated Dead Dead Island so much, but the videos were just so great from it. It was absolutely worth it. The game was just so, so terrible. Like every waking second was just a joke. Like playing a, a game that's like good is kind of hard to uh, make interesting. But playing a game that's terrible is just so easy. It says dragon! Stop hitting me, I'm trying to I'm trying to fucking piss here. Come on. This dragon. This dragon. Dragon. Like if if Karen and I had recorded the entirety of our playthrough of Dead I of uh, Dead Island, we would have had so much more stuff. We only started recording like halfway through. There's just so much crap that happened. MMA gloves and a muffler that's broken. Yeah, that's one of those games that you don't want to play if you're if you're playing it by yourself. Jeez! Like, everything's more fun with a friend. Sex is more fun with a friend. Fishing's more fun with a friend. Murder is more fun with a friend. Hate crimes are more fun with a friend. Not that I'd know from the experience on the last one or anything. Yeah! Catch! Bitch! What are you talking about? The sewers were so much fun. You hardly ever get sewer levels in video games. It was so unique and interesting. Like, the backtracking was the big pain in the ass on that. Like, it was such a hard time... Like, I'm getting a lot of shades of Dead Island from this game, honestly. Because you had to backtrack a lot, and it was always really difficult to do it, because... Fucking hell. Because there would be so many, uh, either, like, zombies in the way or just roadblocks, so the vehicles wouldn't last. Like, there's a, there's a clip up on YouTube that's still up now, where Cameron and I jumped into a car, and, like, I was in the driver's seat, and then I got out because I didn't know where the hell we were going, so he got, he got into the driver's seat, and I got into the passenger side. We drove around the corner, and then there was a fucking roadblock right there. And that pretty much just sums up transportation in the game. The fuck am I even going right now? I'll figure it out. The suicide zombies were fine. I mean, like, if you shot them, everything else died at least. That was pretty much where all my deaths came from was the suicide zombies. The other guys were just so easy to deal with. Because in that game, like, what was overpowered more than anything was just throwing a weapon at something until it fell down, then stomping it until it died. Maybe that was because I was playing as Logan, though. Might not work for every character. It's like throwing and kicking was just so broken. I mean, the big problem with that game, though, was that it was just terribly optimized. It ran like crap. Which this game kind of is the same, too. Pretty poorly optimized. Like, to put in perspective, the last game that I really played on the PC before this was... Skyrim, which I have like HD texture uh, packs installed. I have ENBs installed with like depth of field effects and all kinds of beautiful retextures. 60 frames per second constantly. 1080p, and I'm you know, coming to this. And it's like 720. Blurry as shit. Drops to 30 frames randomly. Ridiculous. Skull weapons. I don't think I ever even, like, really used any weapons aside from just 
Like, I remember crafting, like, a handful of bladed weapons and then only using those. I don't think I even crafted that much, really, because, like, the entirety of my strategy in a fight was just to throw weapons and then just kick everyone until they died. It worked all the time. Like, Cameron was actually having to use weapons. Like, I was so rich because I was playing Logan and I never broke my weapons because I threw them all the time. And he was playing Sam B, and his weapons were constantly breaking, and he had to constantly spend money to repair them. It was so dumb. It was such a poorly balanced game. The only balance in that game came from the fact that you didn't have to play it alone. And if you were playing with friends, then you have an overpowered guy on your team, but that balances things out. If you're playing it by yourself, or just with two people, then the overpowered imbalance is really obvious. I think Logan was just like the best character in that game. I think with Borderlands actually. Like in Borderlands, uh Borderlands 1, like holy crap, fucking Mordecai was overpowered. Like, it was the most stupidly overpowered thing. I didn't even record that. But I was Mordecai, I think Cameron was playing Brick. I think. And I just had like a full Bloodwing spec where I would just constantly throw out this bird. Like every five seconds, like every single five seconds, would he would recharge and he would kill everything instantly when he hit it. So I just sit back and just spam my power and just wipe everyone out one by one. And meanwhile, he was getting uh, fucking perks that would allow him to reduce the time that it would take for me to use Bloodwing so I could use him every one second. He got really upset. He's like, I'm not fucking helping you with that power. It's, it's fucking broken. Like, we dueled a couple of times, and the duel was basically just me throwing out Bloodwing until he died. Which meant I had to throw him out twice. It was so stupid. Yeah, fast recharge, massive damage, could hit people in cover. Broken. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. The main problem with uh, the Chinese girl in uh, in Dead Island was that her special did good damage and all, but like Logan's did just about as much damage. You could do it from longer range. Logan was just un <laughs> Logan was completely imbalanced. I always find the imbalanced character somehow. I was tempted to play the Chinese girl, but I didn't last second, and I'm happy I didn't. Yeah, I was rolling to my first playthrough with a friend who was Mordecai. <laughs> Another friend who's never even been in a video. Dumbbag. Am I on the front page of Twitch yet? I have to be, right? 